Hi, this is Jason. Hi, this is Lisa. With Christ in Your Church. And you know what? Today we just want to talk about foundation and how critical it is for us to have a solid foundation in Christ, His Word. And because, you know, when you have a good foundation that's solid, you can build upon it. Yes. You can grow. You can go to new places in God. God can give you revelation after revelation after revelation, you know, and going from glory to glory in Him, in the kingdom of God. That's a good foundation. But unfortunately, the day we live in, there's a lot of weak foundation. Mm -hmm. You know, people are just tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. There, there's a lack of stability. Um, there's a lack of being rooted and grounded in the word. And that is a good foundation to be rooted and grounded. But how does that happen? How, how do we become rooted and grounded? Well, it's a good question, right? We got to have humility. That's the number one thing. We have to be humble, fully submitted to the Lord and allow the grace of God to influence us. Because remember, the grace of God teaches us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust, to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. We need the grace of God. That's how we become a solid foundation in Christ. It's through the grace of God. So if we keep ourselves humble and submitted to the word, we're going to grow in the things of God. We're gonna become strong in the faith, rooted and grounded upon the word, and we're gonna have a great foundation that will be able to withstand false doctrine and the wind and the waves and opposition and the attacks, persecution, all the things that we get subjected to because we love God. And, and those things that we get subjected to are trying to get us away from the foundations of Christ, his word, the very thing that you know keeps us sound, that keeps us to have that sound mind. When you have a firm foundation in Christ, you're good. You're not going to be moved away from the hope of the gospel. So it's so critical that we have that. Yeah, I mean, I'm reminded of what Jesus said in Matthew 7. He said, everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them. So there's, there's a foundational thing right there. When we get into the word of God and we read what Jesus was teaching, yeah. that is what we're supposed to be keeping. That um, he said, everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Yes. The rock, the solid foundation, which is Christ. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall. See, firm foundation because it had been founded on the rock. Yeah. And then he contrasts that with everyone who hears the words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell and great was the fall of it so here we have you know a key to having a firm foundation and that is to do what jesus said to do to be a doer of the word and not a hearer only because you just read that scripture where it says, if the wise man hears the word mm -hmm. and takes and action, yeah. then you're going to have a strong foundation. You're going to have stability. But so contrast that with somebody that hears the word, but refuses to do it, refuses to take action, refuses to submit. Yeah. That's pride. Amen. And so let's keep ourselves humble and pay attention to what God is saying in the word. Study the word of God. You have the chief shepherd living in you today. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yes. That's the revelation that Paul was conveying to the Colossians, to the Gentiles. Christ in you, the hope of glory. We have everything we need living in us today. We got to tap into that. We have the rock of our foundation living in us and if we stay humble and allow the grace of god to lead us and guide us into truth we're going to have that firm foundation